set right, I can just take a photo. Like New York this. City's old skyline brought back with new technology. Now, equipped with just a smartphone, people can experience reality in a new, augmented yeah. kind of way. The towers needed to look different depending on how far away you were, and they needed to look different depending on what angle you were seeing them from. Augmented reality is perfect for what I needed. Augmented reality, or AR, overlays graphics, sounds, and other data to our surroundings. It enhances what we see, hear, and feel. Marco Tempest is a cyber illusionist. Thanks to his special glasses, he creates AR versions of his numbers and projects them onto a large screen for his audience. His newest trick? Levitating cards and animated characters. Are you ready? ready. Augmented reality enables me to add an additional layer. And so in the augmented reality card trick, I imagine that I could show the audience what goes on in my mind. Although AR has been around for years, its surge in popularity is recent. It's available on nearly every smartphone and tablet, and with half a million of the devices sold in 2011, the technology is now widely accessible. AR developer Ori Inbar designed this game for a local beer company. We have this virtual ring that we throw on the real bottle. An interactive pastime for fans and an information goldmine for the brand. What's really valuable for brands is the ability to capture the data about where the fans are in terms of their location, in terms of how many times they interact with the bottle or with the product. And, uh, and that gives them the ability to really understand the behavior of their fans. Augmented reality is quickly becoming a popular tool, both with the public and with businesses. With whole worlds to create and consumers to woo, this unusual mix of magic and technology is on the road to success.